for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel so cancer in the recent past we got six of Pentacles and ten of Pentacles wow beautiful so the recent past was good very good for a lot of you six of Pentacles it's a card about a turn for the better particularly when it comes to money because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot that means money cash coins finance income this six of Pentacles is one of the more positive Pentacle cards in the tarot it speaks of equality fairness the nature of life so when this card appears you you were likely heading into a really positive cycle because the six of Pentacles it's often a card about generosity meaning that you were about to be the beneficiary or you are the beneficiary or the giver of something of value so it would have been a time when you shared what you had because there's always someone who needs it and we all know that we get back what we give yeah whatever you put out to the universe comes right back to you whatever you put out to people it comes right back to you so this six of Pentacles is with the ten of Pentacles now it's showing that you had a great deal to be thankful for your relationships of all kind finance health they were all going really well you probably considered how you got to such a happy situation or that's what you should have done made the best of it and be sure to share what you have even if it's only a kind word spoken to someone in need because once again things were re really great for you in the recent past for a lot of you cancers yeah we get back what we give out so things were so good ten of Pentacles and six of Pentacles so you could have been in a really good relationship and it was it was growing it was prosperous there was a lot of give and take a lot of giving and receiving in a very healthy way um, so it was a happy relationship it could have become more more um, committed maybe engagement marriage childbirth now with the ten of Pentacles it also speaks about a second chance so you could have had a second chance with someone and it turned out to be really really good and that's a recent past so let's see what's coming up for the present time the third week of September now we got this nine of Pentacles and ace of cups nine of Pentacles is wonderful ace of cups is beautiful nine of Pentacles is one of the most uplifting and encouraging cards in the tarot it can mean that your financial worries are over for a while and that things will be going better than you thought possible so make sure to enjoy this good energy and share your wealth and happiness with others there's a lot of cards in this reading about sharing so a lot of you did a lot of sharing and um, sharing is good because it brings good karma back to you yeah yeah a lot of these cards are about sharing and giving so hopefully that's what you did or that's what you plan on doing because yeah this is really good nine of Pentacles if you were in a relationship and you get the nine of Pentacles the relationship it moves to the next level new heights of intimacy and joy now it's with the ace of cups ace of cups is a very powerful positive card in the tarot when it comes to love happiness and affection like all the aces it's about new beginnings and although it usually means love it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life things are looking up people will respond to you with love happiness and goodwill more than usually at this time so you'll be feeling really good about life overall and this is a great time to make friends if you're in a relationship it takes a turn for the better it goes to a deeper level of understanding or commitment <clears throat> two beautiful cards just like kind of like the recent past yeah so with these two cards paired together ace of cups is about uh could be a new love a new love interest um this person will bring a lot of warmth 
to your life and there's a lot of deep attraction that you'll have for this person and they'll have for you and your worries they're over for a while so you won't have anything to worry about and if this is not a great new love coming in it's a new situation something wonderful yeah or if it's not a new love or interest maybe it's a great friendship something wonderful and new and you won't have anything to worry about any worries that you you think might come up you won't not at this time yeah something beautiful and great and new could for most of you it's a new love so let's move on over and see what the challenges we got this king of swords and the six of wands now the king of swords this card is considered the narcissist in the tarot it stands for a powerful opinionated forceful man he will but not always have hair on the darker end of the spectrum it could go either way or you could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally especially when this card does not represent a person in your life so you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act the king of swords is a very forceful energy you may not be able to get this man in your life to change his mind or to do what you want so you may need to change something major about your behavior thoughts and or expectations but don't overextend overextend your reach king of swords is with the six of wands which is signaling it's signaling victory you see how this lady she's standing on a podium and she's got all these people below her uh, she's waving her wand in the air from side to side and up and down and they're doing exactly what she's doing so they're mirroring her she's having recognition victory and success so yeah it signals this and if you're anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart just know you will be victorious this can indicate uh, any kind of celebration you could be a part of a graduation party commencement celebration or you could be receiving a reward for good work that you've done the six of wands makes you feel really really good about yourself you could feel as if you got a lot of support from everyone around you on the other hand you could adore someone else by where adoring them makes you feel amazing six of wands is great fantastic because it's about um it reminds me of that twin flame type of energy that twin flames have the two of you mirror each other there's a lot of um for example you may need someone to boost your ego while the other person is perfectly fine doing the boosting and admiring so it's this is called fire of balance the two of you feed off of each other energetically yeah with the six of wands you get a lot of sexual energy and there's a lot of passion and long nights spent in bed mm really hot for a lot of you cancers but it's with this king of swords so you could be dealing with someone that's um um that could be um mistreatful someone that's mistreating you or someone that's really forceful they overstep their bounds they're highly opinionated uh, it's about a forceful type of energy now you want victory and success with this person the connection will feel great at first because of the magnetism and the and how you two mirror each other and the great sexual chemistry and energy is there but you might find that this person is a bit narcissistic and self-absorbed and you might find down the line or you might be finding out that this person doesn't really treat you like the way you think they should all the time or for the most part now that's what we got for the challenge so it looks good but then it looks like you might be thrown off by this type of energy that this person brings yeah so a lot of it is good and then on the, on the flip side this person might just throw you off because a lot of people 
I'm not really crazy about a narcissist or that type of energy. But that's a challenge. Let's see what the outcome is. So we got the Ten of Swords and it's with the Three of Swords. Now the Ten of Swords is showing that you have to be careful where you put your trust because when the Ten comes up to a question whether you can believe what a person is telling you or trust that the situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. But try to keep in mind whenever a door closes, another door opens, you're being guided to a situation that's better for you. So trust yourself and trust the universe. Yeah, so you see how this man has all these swords stabbed in his back. Yeah, there's some trust issues here. Now, it's with the Three of Swords, which is about an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side uh, is, what's on the flip side is enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness or sorrow that comes up so that you could move past it. This card, it points to, it could point to a deep personal issue that you need to address before you can move on. Because if you deny the pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. But make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. But you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others will not be able to do this for you. So cancer. <clears throat> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. The first half of this reading looks, looks great. But then... Well, the outcome, it looks like Ten of Swords and Three of Swords. That's a, lot, that's a lot of swords there. Ten, that's eight swords. That's a lot. So this uh, narcissistic type of person that's that you know or that's coming towards you, and it's going to feel fabulous and great, and... You want victory and success with this person, but it looks like they got they have a dark side that you may not feel too happy about. Um, uh, yeah, so you're gonna feel like the connection is ruined and it's a failure and you're defeated because that's what the Ten of Swords can be about, and you no longer and you may no longer trust this connection. And it's going to cause you to want to close yourself off and um, probably reject this person. So you might sever ties and um, it's about being heartbroken. There's, some, there's an element of sorrow and pain. So you really like this person. It could be a twin flame the way you two will be mirroring each other. And the way the chemistry is going to be off the charts. But this person has a dark side. And yeah, it looks like the outcome, you just will you feel defeated like it's ruined. And, you, and you'll be sad. It's showing you're going to be disappointed and sad about it. And um, heartbroken. Because it's going to be great at first. Yeah, Six of Wands is beautiful. Like I said, it's that twin flame energy. Hopefully it's not your twin flame. Because they got a really dark side. And you're going to feel like you just can't trust it. Can't trust it. Can't trust it.